folks, hope you're okay. We're looking at um, the history of Christianity by uh, Dr. McCulloch, and um, we're looking at origin. And uh, on page 150, he writes, "Origin's importance was twofold as a biblical scholar and speculative theologian, in which roles he exhibited interestingly different talents. As a biblical scholar, he had no previous Christian rival." He set standards and directions for the giant tax task, which was already occupying the church, of redirecting the Tanaka to illuminating the significance of Jesus Christ and the divine plan, creating the text of the Bible as Christians know it. His biblical commentaries became foundational for later understanding of the origin uh, of the Christian sacred text. Origin's biblical work showed a concern for exactness and faithfulness to receive text something very necessary in an age when the text was still uncertain in many details. Um, when the text was uncertain in many details, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, McCulloch's uh, resume of origin is, is, is okay. Um, I just want to say that I really love origin. Uh, I did an essay when I was at seminary many years ago on him and I find him a fascinating character. He was a giant scholar. Um, he was a man uh, dedicated to God. He, he mixed Greek philosophy at times and so he got himself into trouble because he philosophically uh, meandered um, away from scripture sometimes. Um, but he was a man who tried to expound the scriptures. He used an allegorical kind of method to strip away some of the literal meanings of the text because maybe he didn't agree with inerrancy that why we believe in uh, as some Christians and the public picks up on that and denigrates those who believe in inerrancy and literalism but that's a caricature of Christianity because Christians use generally the, the historical grammatical method which means that you take any piece of the literature and use it that genre so if it's poetry you understand it as poetry, um, if it's uh, history or a letter, you understand it from a history or letter. In other words, um, Dr. McCulloch is kind of strawmanning what Christians believe about the Bible as if it's a wooden understanding and trying to say that Origen was more ahead of his time than Christians today. But I would disagree in the sense that uh, a lot of these top academics in theology, history, whatever, will often strawman. Christian position on what the Bible, what we believe is the Bible. We believe in the historical grammatical method, and that means using each piece of literature within the Bible in its own context. So, if it's poetry, we expound it as poetry. If it's history, we expound it as history. That's a very flexible, nuanced approach that the modern scholars will not give or grant credit to Christianity or Christian uh, Christians today who believe. In the authority and inspiration of the Bible on the issue of origin, famous story where um, the little interpretation um, about eunuchs will you know you you'll not enter the kingdom of heaven unless you're a eunuch. Uh, he had his water cut off uh, so he could get into heaven, and he realised he took the scripture too literally. So you can understand why origin went for more of an allegorical interpretation of scripture. Um, but the guy was a great scholar. He was an immense... He, uh, one of the things that annoys me sometimes with modern textual critics is as if they're the first beginners of textual criticism. But, you know, people like Origen, they were the pioneers of textual criticism. Uh, if you read Bart Ehrman's book on textual criticism, it's as if textual criticism didn't start till the 1600s AD. But actually there's been a long history of textual criticism going right back to the time of Origin. Uh, so, thumbs up for me for Origin. Okay, he, he, did, he, he wasn't as sound as he should have been. Uh, but his contribution to uh, commentaries, his contribution to uh, Biblical Christianity and passing on Christianity was immense and we owe him a great debt, alright? Thank you for listening and take care.